I think that we have to look at this multiplicity of places in a way not so uh, as to make very simplistic um, parallels between one country and, not, and another, but try to understand both the differences and the similarities, to try to come to some sort of an understanding of how we can uh, refer to an art of a region, whether it be Caribbean or any other, um, and uh, at the same time look at the pers in individual personalities concerned with the making of this art. So it's really putting the two things together, categories and lack of categories, specificity and personalities, places and uh, larger paths. One could think, for example, of Cuba, the largest of the countries of the islands of the Caribbean, uh, as having uh, a number of important movements, one of them being uh, with the development of independence movements in the 19th century, another one being the rise of modernity in with the so-called generation of 1927, uh, and then the third being the impact of the Cuban Revolution, uh, and perhaps the fourth and fifth being art of the 1980s and 1990s. And another thing I think it's important to do in terms of the Caribbean is to realize that what most people think the Caribbean is, that is to say a series of islands, is really only part of the story. And if we are going to look at art in the Caribbean, one has to take into account not only the island cultures, uh, which are all the products of various histories of colonialism, but also the countries uh, and the regions that are on the periphery, that is to say Florida, Mississippi, Texas, and then Mexico, Central America, Venezuela, Colombia, and the Guyanas. So it is a very large and very um, uh, and very multi uh, nuanced area to uh, to talk about. Mm -hmm. I do think that in terms of the Caribbean, there are certain parts of the region in which ritual and performance still un is an underlying fact uh, of significance. One right now, for example, a carnival is taking place in many parts of Latin America. It's taking place in Brazil. It's taking place in many parts of, of the Caribbean. And that is one of many uh, manifestations of public sentiment that uh, grow either from uh, practices that that were instituted in enslavement. Uh, you think, for example, of the celebrations on the days of the three kings that, uh, that is in January, the one day where traditionally slaves in many of the islands, such as Cuba, were allowed outside of their confines and could celebrate. And so there are still reminiscences of that, uh, that very old practice going on, uh, but also many of the performative, performative have related um, uh, public manifestations of, uh, of parades or festivals or carnivals have to do with uh, religious practices. And so there is a multitude of uh, reasons for the creation of um, public uh, art in terms of parades, carnivals, etc. in the Caribbean. is Caribbean art global, uh, is in a way a latter-day manifestation of the fact that the Caribbean has even before the arrival of Europeans, has been a place of transport and has been a place of exchange. Even the pre-Hispanic uh, gr groups such as the Lucayans and what we now call the Bahamas or uh, the Arawaks or the Taino were traveling. They were going from the mainland to the islands and back and so on. And then certainly in the era of colonization, um, uh, places like the smaller countries of Denmark and Sweden and England and France and uh, and um, the Netherlands were all coming there, taking parts of the Caribbean, making them into colonies, trading, exchanging. Uh, so if you want to use the word global today, that's fine. It's in a, in a way, it's a continuation of what is in what we could say the DNA of the of the region.
it is probably a good idea to start off by looking at the region as a whole and try to get some sort of understanding of some of the themes in art that have been uh, perpetuating themselves throughout the, uh, the decades, uh, among them themes that have to do with transport, themes that have to do with exile, because we also have to take into consideration the fact that the art of the Caribbean is as much about what is produced in the region as what is produced in the diaspora. Uh, artists from the Caribbean working in such far-flung places as London and Paris and Montreal and Miami and New York and elsewhere, uh, and uh, trying to get uh, to come to grips with some of the major themes that that sort of diasporic practice has uh, put into place. So uh, although it is very difficult to speak of Caribbean art or Caribbean-ness uh, in a way that does not privilege the cl uh, cliched or the stereotyped, I do think that it is productive to start off a project of encounter with this region by trying to assess the similarities and differences of what is being produced and what people are interested in in Cuba, in Jamaica, in Barbados, in Martinique, in Guadeloupe, etc. And then from there, uh, try to um, break down the uh, or compartmentalize the individual places into the separate units that they actually are.